Welcome back to the frog bath. It's been a lot of weeks since it's rained last. It's been a lot of time since I've looked in the bog and the water is really low. I think I might have a leak. Let's check. So walking around the edge of the pond and this edge has a lot of really dense weed growth. So that's my lead suspect. Do these kinds of things, it's always a good idea to clear out any debris that's collected in your intake bag. So you have clear flow of water. So the thing to remember when looking for leaks in your pond is that water in a closed system is self-leveling. So as this water's coming in here and filling up this uh, intake bay, and the body of my pond, because that is connected through our pipe there into our bog, the levels of water, when they're a certain level in this pond, there'll be a certain level in the bog and vice versa. So now that we're starting to fill this up, let's go check out the water level at the back of the bog. Back in the bog, we're gonna be watching this edge. We're gonna be watching right here, this root mass we're gonna look into. See how that's all wet on top? And we're looking over here at the very edge where it's starting to come up into this fold. We're going to be looking for wicking leaks and any roots taking the water in as it starts to rise. So, you can see a root right here. And this root is running right over the top of the liner. Here's another type of leak that we talked about in our last video about finding leaks. See this fold in here? Water being self-leveling means that even in the middle of this fold, there's water up to the same level as there is in the bog. So on this side of the liner, you would think all the water is here. No, because this is technically inside the system. So when I pull these rocks out, see there's water in here. Now the rocks have absorbed a lot of it, but water will continue to flow, there it is, into here because this is part of the system. Look how wet it is over here. There we go. When we saw the wetness in here, this should be the outside. So there it is. There's the hole right up at the edge. It looks like it's been chewed by a rodent or something like that. Possibly scuffed by a rock, but to me, that looks like a chew. There's other ones down here. So that explains what's going on. We've got roots. We've got weeping leak. Look at this, the water's already collecting here and it's start to run out. Okay, that's a wicking leak. And we've got this corner up here still rising towards the edge. And we've got rodent damage. Shut off the hose. The water in my pond is pretty high. And even though that's not ideal, that's not the reason that it's leaking when it's at this high level. I'd have to have even more water in it for this uh, risky area to become a factor. We know that with this kind of high water, if this liner is down, the water is going to flow into this area that's been chewed. If the liner stays upright, we should be okay. This area over here where the root was pulling down, now that it's not pushing over, we're good. This area over here where the rock was pushing down, we just need to pull this up. Now this is not a lot of excess liner. And I did not know uh, how to use a water level when I built this part of the bog. So I never had time to really fix this. The final thing is I kind of cover the liner and get ready to put in gravel here. Um, we're making an ecosystem pond and that includes around the edge. So if I were to just put this rock on here like this, and leave all this exposed liner and folds and these crevices. I'm basically making a mouse habitat, so I can't be surprised that rodents are coming in and chewing on my liner. So make sure these things are filled in and that you keep tabs on their status throughout the years when in your pond. We rebuilt the edge, keeping in mind uh, as we filled everything in with gravel where that liner was, it's super important to make sure stuff doesn't shift as you bury it. 
Now, as you may or may not know, in order to do this, I had to dig up the bog quite a bit. And whenever you do that, it gets murky. One last thought to leave you with. We topped up our pond. We found our major issues while the pond was being filled. We stopped topping it up. We tried to address those issues. Now is not a good time to re-top up the pond because you may have more issues the higher your water gets. Remember, the relationship of the water level between your pond and your bog is constant. So, whatever level you fix everything up at, leave the water that way for a few days until you can say whether or not you're stable at that level. Then if you want to continue adding water, do so.